Hey everyone! I was not going to make a weekly writing vlog, but I got a really nice comment from Laura Amin, so you can thank her for this video. Your comments do matter, I read them, and I was like, okay, why not? Let's start a weekly writing vlog. So it's gonna be an interesting week though, so I'm thinking this video is gonna be short. I pretty much have an interview every single day this week. So today is Monday, it's just a little past four. I was just out, I did some errands, I got my writing done in the morning. I finished chapter 7 which is a new chapter so if you lit missed my last video I did a 5k day and I pretty much figured out all of act 1. My next steps in revising is making sure that each chapter flows like each chapter is <laughs> readable I don't think flow is the right word, like it has to be readable. I want to be able to give this draft to like a critique partner for example and they would be able to read the draft without encountering like giant plot holes or like bad writing so it's a mix of like of a line edit but also a developmental edit. So anyway, I finished chapter 7 and it was very exciting because I felt like I tied the ending together pretty well. 1 to 7 is act 1 and I ended up using a line that is originally part of a short story that keeps getting rejected. Sorry, that does not make sense. I have a short story that keeps getting rejected and it's called this really cool phrase that I, I mean I think it's cool. I was able to use that in chapter 7 and I was able to title that chapter 7 that short story title so I was like really proud of myself. I was pulling draft 1's whatever chapter into this chapter 7. The structure is completely different and the order of us is completely different from draft 1 so I've been like pulling some parts and like adding some new parts so chapter 7 is a mix of both like new writing and like the previous version of another draft. A previous... another... <laughs> This is why I didn't want to vlog because I can't speak. I pulled in like a chapter from draft one into this new chapter seven. Yeah. Okay, tonight I'm either gonna continue writing because I want to make sure like act one is readable or I'm gonna read that medieval book. This one, The Time Traveler's Guide to Medieval England. This is kind of like a book I'm reading for research on my world. Or I might just pick up like a novel. I have a lot of books that I want to read and I'm thinking of doing like a 24 hour reading challenge but I don't think I can do that until next week because I have like interviews lined up this week. So yeah, that's the plan. We can kind of see Bramble's pawsies. He's right here. I'm on the cat tree. So I don't know where else to put you. I don't have any. I don't always have nice space around here. Ah, uh, okay. Let's just get into the updates. It's Tuesday morning and I wrote last night. Actually, I wrote a ton yesterday because I wrote chapter seven, um, which was a new chapter. I added about 1400 words because this chapter started off with 300 and then it's now at 1700. I also wrote a new scene. The scene goes between five and six, chapters five and six. The problem is that chapter six is getting way too long. It's around, Bramble knows there's a camera here because he wants to touch you. Do you see his pauses? Chapter six was getting way too long. It was getting over to be 3000 words. So I put that new scene at the end of chapter five. I'm not sure how the flow is right now, but that's kind of like the least of my problems right now because the biggest problem is that I ran myself into a logistical hole. I had no idea that I was gonna have this issue. I guess I wasn't reading my story like I mean I, I guess I was skimming chapter 6 because that's where I found this issue so I was actually going into chapter 6 and like doing a line slash developmental edit and I realized that my characters are here right now but they're also supposed to be here but they're also supposed to be here so now what I have to do is make these two places into one singular place because both things need to happen at these different places for the story to continue so that's very annoying because now I have to like stop adding words and just start brainstorming so i started well this is literally what i wrote can you read it i don't know we'll focus this says map of wester so wester is the town that my character is in right now and i'm gonna need to like plan out what the city looks like so we can make sure there's a floof here so i can make sure that i'm able to put two places at once this will have a i don't know if a domino effect is the right word but like the opposite domino effect because now all the chapters previous to chapter six will have to match this new way like this new place i create will have to be continuous throughout the rest of the like from the beginning of the story till now <sighs> so a little bit annoying because i kind of just wanted to keep writing like i was in the zone and then i was like Fuck. <laughs> 
didn't realize I had such a huge error in the manuscript. So yeah, we're gonna work on that. I have until today, like Tuesday to Thursday to kind of be free, free. <laughs> I do have my interviews, um, but I start a new editing client on Thursday. So I'm like, just like really trying to get as much work as I can on this book. I was watching Chris MF's TikTok. I'll link her down below. I'll link her TikTok down below. And I'm just like so inspired by her. She's working a full-time job. She's making content and she's working on her book. And there's something in like the dedication and tenacity that I really admire. And at the end of the day, it's like totally, that's totally just what you need to do. Like there's no other way around it. You just have to do the work. So I'm really, inspired by that. I have to sneeze. One more thing I wanted to say was that in my last video, I was trying out the perfume scent association and I realized that the perfume I was using, like Dossier, Dossier, Dossier's perfumes. I don't know if this is a good thing because I don't know anything about perfumes. Obviously this video is not being sponsored or affiliated by them, but they like stick with you for a long time. Like, so I sprayed my desk with the perfume and it still smelled like the perfume for the next two days. And I was doing like interview prep. <laughs> I was like video editing. So it wasn't just like I was smelling this while I was writing the book. I was also smelling this while I was doing other stuff. So I don't know if it's actually working right now, but I think I've decided to switch up the scent. Um, I was using their Emery Cedarwood in my last video, but I think we're gonna use Fruity Aqua. Oakmoss. I think we're gonna use fruity oak moss instead. Um, this just smells more like my book than the other one, just like the vibes and the scent. Yeah, I'm just worried that like, I'm not worried because it smells good. Like both scents smell good. This is just more fitting for my book. But I'm just like worried in the sense that I won't really, it was not really gonna be a scent association thing because my whole desk is gonna smell like it. So anyway, we're gonna, we're on the book. I'm gonna write, we're gonna, to our interviews. It's gonna be a good day. Oh God, I'm scared! Okay, I'm about to do it. I'm doing it! Fire it! Ah, I'm going all the way! Shut up! It's the next day, it's close to 12. I have a giant update, so I'll try my best to speak about it, but I probably will be stumbling along my words because I can't describe it. So yesterday was a huge writing day for me. It was also quite unexpected because my interview getting ended up getting rescheduled. I made three major changes. The first is that I've decided to keep these two locations separate because it would make absolute no sense for them to be combined into one. It's like combining a bank with like a bootlegged uh, DVD Chinatown store. Like it, this, it doesn't make sense to combine them together. So I've decided to separate them. But because I've decided to separate them, I ended up moving one scene to this location. So I changed the scene, I changed the location of chapter six of where it was gonna take place. And not just that, I completely removed this giant reveal and I completely removed that and I put it into chapter seven. So yesterday I was like, I didn't realize I would be doing so much like giant surgery on the manuscript because that took me a really long time. Like that took me the whole day and a little bit of the evening. So I like removing that giant chunk in chapter six was fine because that was like a whole chunk. But when I removed it, I was like picking at it and putting what I liked into chapter seven, which that reveal will now be in chapter seven. I was writing new stuff in chapter seven. And then because now I've officially separated them, I was also going into draft and putting in enough context so that the readers know that these two places exist. One of the biggest, I wouldn't say mistake, but pitfall for newer writers I find is that they don't have enough context on their secondary world. And especially because in a secondary world, like your characters, like your readers will have no idea about anything about your world because it's completely brand new. So not having enough context, not grounding the readers can confuse them. So I wanted to make sure that there was enough grounding of the two locations that when the readers do get to them, it's not like all of a sudden like, oh my God, we're, this place existed. So I was like doing those like my new changes in the manuscript and changing that scene location also took a really long time. Every mentioning of the environment, of the setting, like had to be changed. I didn't love making these changes, TBH, not cause like I didn't like the direction, but I'm talking about the actual implementing of these changes was like pretty hard for me because Aside from moving that big scene, everything else was so minute. Like it was in the lines. I was like going through each chapter and making sure that 
there was enough context like these two locations are clearly named and like everyone knows what they are anyway it took a long time but it's done however today the focus of today will be to change or to finish the changes for chapter six so chapter six reads as if it's like a cut and just like a, just a cut not even cut and paste just a cut because like a whole chunk is missing now and i didn't go back and like read through to make sure that the flow was good and it doesn't read as if i just like took a chunk out so that's the goal for today i'm gonna be doing that and that's the only goal for today i don't want to push it too much i'm actually gonna be leaving here i'm gonna go visit my partner so i'm gonna be doing that at his place i haven't seen him oh my god i haven't seen him in almost a week and i have another interview tomorrow so i want to do some more prep and then the rescheduled interview got moved to Friday. So it's just like, this week is a lot of heavy, heavy interview prep. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, I think all I wanted to say. Oh, the perfume. So I really liked the perfume for this book. I think it's so fitting and it's not as sticky. Like the other perfume, the Amber Reese Searwood was like really sticky, like it stuck to all my clothing. It's less so now, I don't smell it now. <laughs> He's looking at me. He's so annoyed. I've been waking up too early just to lose some more sleep. I've been hiding from my pride, but I'm looking for a change. Oh, but what if I change my mind? Will I find my wasted time? There's somebody I look up to, I could only hope to be. Conversation and know exactly what he said to me. What he said to me. He was saying you'll be alright. If you know where to turn to, you'll lose this fight. If you don't ever learn to keep it in balance and always know you can only get higher if you've been low. He said you'll be It's Thursday, it's almost 12.30. I'll just give a really quick update. So yesterday, I think I finally, finally figured out act one, at least from a self-edit perspective, we'll see what future critique partners and beta readers say. But I ended up removing a giant, just like a sequence of events. I completely removed that from act one. I knew that those scenes were the weakest in the book. It just didn't feel like it totally lulled the plot. And I think to an extent, it also lulled the character development. There was a reason why I wanted those sequence of events to be there, but I didn't feel like, I don't know. It just didn't feel that right to me. So I ended up deleting all of it. I deleted about 2000 words and I ended up restructuring completely act one again. So now my act one has five chapters and the total act one, if I don't include the prologue, it's around, I think 11,000 words right now. I just need to keep building it up because I still feel like I'm only just scratching the surface of like the last two chapters. I feel like they're still pretty bare bones. I need to add a lot more in. However, I'm a little bit nervous now that each chapter is gonna be super, super long. My chapters now average about 2,700 words and I can totally see like chapter seven or chapter, the old chapter seven is now chapter five, but I can totally see chapter four and chapter five being over 3,000 words. And I kind of don't really want that because it is a YA fantasy, it's supposed to be fast. Um, but I don't want to break it up because I think this is really the best, it flows the best. So I'm a little bit like unf unfused, unsure, confused how to deal with that. But I am really glad that I think I finally nailed down act one. You know how like in the beginning of this week, I was saying how chapter seven is like the new reveal. I'm really happy the way that that reveal is going. I definitely need to like make it a little bit more like make sense. Cause I don't know if right now it has a logical flow, but I'm really looking forward to like beefing all that up. So I am afraid that the word count's gonna get too big for each chapter, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Hi. Okay. 
Your voice was the soundtrack of my summer Do you know you're unlike any other? You'll always be my thunder And I said Your voice, your eyes Are the brightest of all the colors I think we're gonna wrap the vlog up today or right now it's friday i wrote yesterday i was fixing up chapter five i have a really weird writing process in that i pretty much write like the mvp for each pass so in the beginning of this video i was saying how i finished chapter seven and now if you're wondering like why am i still talking about not finishing chapter five which is like the new chapter seven it's because when i first wrote that chapter seven it was like the bare bone structure it was like a basic beginning middle and end and i figured out that structure and now what i'm doing in this draft or in these revisions is that i'm adding to it and adding to it and adding to it but i don't add a lot at a time i add just a little bit at a time and i have to build it's like building blocks so that's what i'm doing and that's why it's still taking me so long because it takes a while for me to come up with these building block structures and then to write it. So I'm still on chapter five. I kind of figured out the flow of things. Um, so I'm happy about that, but I just need to like floof it up a lot more. The chapter is currently at 2,700. I added about 400 words yesterday. However, I feel like I'm still scratching the surface for some reason. I feel like this is a very, it's a very big beat this chapter five and I yeah I'm just a little bit worried that the word count's going to blow it up too much I actually started reading this book last night because I couldn't concentrate this is the spin-off series to the remnant chronicles um the first book is called kiss of deception I actually have it it's over there but I'm a little bit too lazy to get up you know I'll just get up this is the first book the kiss of deception I actually use this as a comp for my current novel I also really enjoyed this book I really love the series especially this first book this is the I think only book I've given a five stars. No, that's not true. But I read this as an adult and I really loved it. That just says a lot about this book, I think. Anyway, anyway, I don't give five stars very, very easily. So this is the spinoff series to that. I've had this book for years. You can tell how yellow it is. But I think I wanted to read this because I was itching to read another YA fantasy. I do enjoy reading the genre I'm writing in. I know some authors or writers don't like that. But for me, that's important. It's just important to keep reading for me. So I'm only pointing this out because the first chapter of chapter one, the first chapter of this book is six pages long. And the second chapter is 11 pages. And I was getting really worried that my chapters were just getting way too long and that would be an issue. But as I mentioned, I don't want to break up the chapters because I think they flow really nicely right now. So I'm, a, I'm at a little bit of a loss of what to do, um, but we're gonna just keep keep working on the book so i've decided to go to a coffee shop today i'm also going to meet up with an author tuber later today so i might get some shots i might not honestly i'm not feeling the vlogging um, i feel like the weekend's coming and i've just had so much adrenaline pumping into me because of all my interviews this week so we might just chill but i'll try to get some clips maybe so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you really enjoyed it i would really appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up this would encourage the youtube algorithm to recommend this video to others so if you are a writer yourself and you think another writer would benefit from this vlog liking it and engaging with it would nudge youtube to be like hey recommend this video i will see you in my next video very soon bye I did groceries and I bought cat food for my cat. I'll show you the brand that I've been using. I'm trying to transition them from kibbles and like basic canned wet food to freeze dried raw meat. Bramble is a lot better at it than my other cat, Crow Baby. Crow Baby is the black one. Bramble is the annoying orange one. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you what the brands look like. 
I'm just looking out for him because he's gonna like be curious when I like shake the shake the treats. Yeah, he's looking at me. <laughs> um, so I've been giving him this chicken bone broth. Oh, he's here. He's here. He's right underneath the tripod sniffing the food. So I've been using this chicken bone broth and soaking it in this freeze dry chicken. And I bought him turkey. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is duck jerky. He's pawing at me in here. Want to say hi? Hi. Ah, I love him. Okay. This has nothing to do with writing. I'm going to put this away. I don't have any more. He's eating it. Also, how cute is this bowl that I got them?